habari gani karibuni sana katika lesson yetu ya leo and in today's lesson we will be looking at constructing sentences using the future tense constructing sentences using our fourth and last tense for this block which is the future tense ta very important tense here the future ta sante let's look at our learning outcomes for this session at the end of this session you should be able to construct simple swahili sentences using the future tense ta and as we do that it will be important to just quickly have a look at the essentials that we've been using across all the other tenses the first thing number one is that we need our subject prefixes do you remember those subject prefixes i've been singing them by now which is ni u a tu mwa ni u a tu mwa i am you are he or she is we are you plural are and they are second thing we need is our future tense and this tense is the ta very important to remember that so we'll be coming in there then we've got our verbs for example we're going to look at the verb kula and kusafiri and then we're going to add our nouns mm, chai and mbwa those are just examples i'm just giving examples so that you can see the structure how the sentences are constructed going downwards sante sana let's have a look at the future tense in short so this future tense depicts the common phrase will i will come i will eat i will just think about the future in english it's got the equivalent words like they will go you will work i will travel so anytime that you're thinking about i will be doing something in the future i want you to remember the future ta tense sante sana kiswahili kizuri our first model that you're going to try and look at is the verb safiri let's look at the structure you're going to have i will travel so you're going to have your subject prefix i the future tense term and the verb safiri now can you say that quick swahili nita safiri your turn say it again what about i will travel home ni ta safiri and we've got a new noun not a new noun because we've been using it a lot nyumbani home i will travel home nita safiri nyumbani so that's the structure which we'll be adopting across all the other um uh, examples of verbs that we'll be using for this session we've got our new verb here and the verb that you're going to be using in this context is jua which means no jua means no as a noun jua means the sunshine so you can see the sunshine and knowing the sun illuminating jua no uh-huh again we've got our ni o a to mwa as our subject prefixes and our tense is the ta and we want to construct oh and we've got a new noun again i'm fond of introducing nouns kesho tomorrow kesho how good is that the future ta and kesho tomorrow let's now construct our first sentence i will know tomorrow go for it ni ta jua kesho nitajua kesho can you pronounce the whole sentence for me please nitajua kesho that is what i was waiting to hear from you nitajua kesho i will know tomorrow kiswahili kizuri sana kiswahili kizuri sana i like that let's do a second sentence together which will be you will know tomorrow are you ready to construct for that for me you will know tomorrow go for it monafunzi mzuri good student ehe u ta jua there you go utajua kesho what about he or she will know tomorrow waiting for you a ta jua kesho atajua kesho he or she will know tomorrow what about we will know tomorrow good sentences i can hear them coming through quite nicely we will know tomorrow 
Go for it. I'm waiting for your answer. We will know tomorrow. Take two. Take two. So in this slide, take two. Now we're going to construct another sentence or our first sentence using this modal verb, jua. The word jua means no. And we have a new noun, kesho, tomorrow. So we're going to construct our sentence as I will know tomorrow. How are we going to say that, Kutsohili? Such an easy sentence. Let me hear how you will construct that for me. Eh hey, nitajua kesho. What about you will know tomorrow? I want to hear how you'll say that, Kutsohili. Go for it. When you've gone, when you're ready, I can't wait to see what you come up with. U ta. Jua, kesho. What about he or she will know tomorrow? Don't forget he or she. Ah, future tense, ta, verb no, and the noun tomorrow. There you go. Construct it, put it together. Atajua, kesho. What about we will know tomorrow? We or oh, we are going to know tomorrow. We will know ta jua eh, to ta jua kesho. What about you plural? And I can't wait for you to construct this for me. You plural will know tomorrow. Go for it. Mm ta Jua Kesho Sad to sana. What about they will know tomorrow? Can't wait to hear how you come and put that together. I know that is easy. Wa Ta Jua Kesho eh. Sad to sana. Very important to know how to construct those sentences for Swahili and using your noun tomorrow. Kesho Kesho Tomorrow Kesho. Asante sana. Let's look at the next verb as we progress with the future tense. Ah, now it's interesting that I'm introducing second verbs. Woo! Easy. Kwekswahili. So, the first verb that I have here is want, and the word want kwekswahili is taka. Can you pronounce that for me? Taka. And the word sleep or to sleep, it is Kulala. The verb to sleep is kulala. Uh -huh. Now we're going to again look at ni ua tu mwa using our future tense ta and now start constructing these sentences together. And the first sentence I want you to put together is aha. Uh -huh. I want oh I will want to sleep. I will want to sleep because it's going to be in the future. Ta, I will want to sleep. Let me hear how you'll put that together. Ni, ta, and then now we put the verb. Taka, you might be there. Are there two ta's there? Indio, there are two ta's. Yes, there are two ta's. One is for the tense and one is part of the verb. Taka, ni ta taka, to sleep. If you Remember when I was teaching about verbs, I said that uh, the infinitive to is ku, which is part of the verb here. So we're going to put that to, ku, and then the verb sleep. Lala, kulala. Nina, nitataka kulala. I will want to sleep. Nitataka kulala. What about now you going and constructing my second sentence? You will want to sleep. Good sentence there. U ta taka kulala. You can see the only thing that you're changing here is the uh, u. What about he or she will change? Hey, he or she 
will want to sleep. Ata taka kulala. What about we will want to sleep? To ta taka kulala. Sante, what about you plural? I always like you to construct the you plurals because it's one of those odd sentences. You plural will want, future will want to sleep. How would you say that? Mm ta taka kulala. Sante sana. And the last sentence that we've got there is they will want to sleep. They will want to sleep. Hmm. How will you construct that sentence for me? They will want to sleep. Can't wait to hear from you. I know by the time I'm finishing to type here, you'll have it. Watataka kulala. Watataka kulala. Kiswahili kizuri sana. Very good, Swahili. And now you know how to construct a sentence using two verbs. Want to do something. Want to do something. Want to sleep. Wataka kulala. But you have to put the subject prefix, the tense, and the verb. Subject prefix, tense, and the verb. For Swahili. Asante. I hope you've understood that properly. That the note here to take is that second verbs take the infinitive ku as part of the verb. As part of the sentence, kulala. That is a good example. Let's look at our next interesting sentence here on the future. And we have the noun, the verb drive, the noun car, and the noun tomorrow. Whoa, I'm introducing more nouns so that you can be confident in constructing these sentences. So the verb to drive in Kiswahili is endesha. The verb drive in Kiswahili is endesha. Can you try and pronounce that? Endesha. E, de, sha. Endesha. Good. I want you now to construct a simple sentence say, that says, I am driving. So simple. Sorry, I will drive. Can you construct a simple sentence that says, I will drive? <laughs> Nita, endesha. That was a simple, straightforward. Now, let's say, I will drive. A car. Or the car. I will drive a car or the car. The car. Uh huh. Nita endesha. Gary. Swahili kizuri kabisa. Very good Swahili. Now let's see if you can now construct the second sentence for me. You do it. You will drive the car tomorrow whoa our sentences are becoming longer and beautiful uh-huh let's hear that sentence from you Ooh. future tense ta drive and desha car gari so in kiswahili we don't have that the it's just car gari then tomorrow kesho so in kiswahili is three was utaendesha gari kesho and that's why swahili when someone is translating or someone is saying something it's quite short very straight to the point utaendesha gari kesho what about he or she now this one is good for you to try again he or she will drive the car tomorrow a ta endesha gari Kesho. Ataendesha gari kesho. Can you pronounce that for me? Can I hear it again? Ataendesha gari kesho. Ataendesha gari kesho. <laughs> Good work. Sante. What about we will drive the car tomorrow? How would you say that for Swahili? We. Tu. Ta. Endesha. Gari, simple, kesho. What about you, Pluto? 
will drive the car tomorrow. M ta endesha gari kesho. Now the last sentence is your sentence. They will drive the car tomorrow. Let's hear from you. They will drive the car tomorrow. Wa ta endesha gari kesho. Vizuri sana. Santeni sana. That's very good. Thank you very much for practicing and trying these sentences together with me. Now, we're going to have a look at another interesting sentence. And I'm now having a noun. Watoto, children, play, cheza. And then you still go through that and uh, see how things will come together. Let's try and practice this and see how that goes. Uh -huh. Now, what is going to happen here is that I'm going to tell you the... Uh, this will be an interesting one. I will play. I will play. Let's start with that. I will play. Ni ta cheza. Simple. I will play. Ni ta cheza. What about you will play? Point. You u ta cheza. Now, listen to me very well, carefully. He or she will play. A ta what about we will play? Tu ta cheza. What about you plural? Santa Sana will play. How would you say that? M mm, ta cheza. What about the children? You can see where I was going. The children will play. What are the children Kuswahili? The noun children Kuswahili is watoto. So you start with the word watoto. Then they will play. They. Subject prefix. Remember in constructing sentences what we said is that a sentence must have have a subject prefix, a tense and a verb. And in this case, watoto is the noun, then followed by a subject prefix, they, wa, future tense, ta, play, cheza, watoto, wata, cheza. That is a very good sentence to mark the end of that session, which is the future, ta. Sante.